everyone, this is Miss Danielle from the Laurel County Public Library, and today we are going to be singing one more Christmas song, and we're going to sing a good Christmas book for, before Christmas this week. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. It is called The Twelve Days of Christmas. There's a lot of gifts here. It takes a lot of breath to sing this song, so you guys sing with me. Here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. And then on the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Woo. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a-leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a-milking, seven swans a-swimming, six geese a-laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Good job. Good job, everybody. That was a big song and 12 different gifts. All right, guys. Now we are going to end today with a book. All right, and it is called Charlie and the Christmas Kitty by Reed Drummond. All right, so here's Charlie. He's a basset hound. Let's read Charlie's story. Here we go. 
Well, howdy. Charlie the Ranch Dog here reporting from the country. Things have sure been busy around here these days. And this evening, for instance, I'm bringing this great big tree into the house. Well, I'm helping anyway. So here they go in with their big Christmas tree and they're going to decorate it. Wow, this big tree is big work. It sure is a good thing I'm here. I'm Charlie the Ranch Dog, after all. I'm such a hard worker, some people even call me King of the Ranch. I like it, I like that title. I think it suits me just fine. There's little Charlie. After all, I'm the best cattle wrangler, critter chaser, fence fixer, and fish catcher in six states, maybe even seven. <gasps> yep, looks like I've got this situation well under control. I think I'll go ahead and get a little shut eye. Tomorrow's going to be a big day around here. Mm hmm. Oh, he's going to lay down and get some sleep. <gasps> oh, what I miss? And what is that noise? Oh my goodness, something's over here jing jingling a bell. Why, it's a, it's a, ah, it's a rabbit. It's a rabbit. Charlie thinks that's a rabbit. Does that look like a rabbit to you guys? No, that's a kitty. It's a little kitten. Um, hello? I believe rabbits are supposed to run when dogs chase them. Hold on just one minute. Rabbits don't meow. Wait, I don't think that's a rabbit at all. I think that's a kitty. It's a kitty cat. She looks pretty cute. She's got herself a red bow. I don't know that Charlie likes her too well though. What's a kitty doing on my ranch? I have to say, I really wasn't expecting this development. Oh, he's just gonna lay down in his bed. He doesn't know what to do about this. Oh, oh goodness, there's the kitty. She really likes Charlie, but he doesn't like her so much. This is by far the weirdest thing that's happened since the girls dressed me up in that pinafore. I'd better go back to sleep and pretend this never happened. Oh, oh goodness, he's awake. What I miss? Whew, shoo. It was just all a bad dream. There's no kitty after all. My soul rejoices. Uh oh, but look back in the window. I see the kitty. It's not a dream. Uh oh, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Well, the last thing that I'm going to do is let this whole kitty thing disrupt my peace. I have a lot of work to do around here. Maybe I can just ignore the kitty and it'll go its own way. Look, he's going to sniff around and oh, nope. They're going to follow him. Maybe not, that won't work. Maybe if I just mind my own business and eat my lunch, it'll go away. Or maybe not, she's just gonna play with the kibble. She's just gonna stay right there with him. Maybe if I take a nice long nap, it'll all just go away. Oh, or maybe not, she's just gonna play with this tail. She really likes Charlie. Okay, fine. This clearly isn't working. I'll have to try another approach. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <gasps> oh, do you think that's gonna work? He tried to bark at her. Usually that would work, you would think. But no, she just thinks that's funny. That's pretty amusing to the kitty, it looks like. Oh boy, I think I have a problem on my hands. Excuse me, may I help you? <gasps> oh. Mm, ah, oh my goodness, that's kind of nice. The kitty's starting to scratch his back and he really likes that. 
You know, this kitty's actually pretty handy to have around. All of this ranch work is pretty hard on the old back after all. I guess the kitty can stay. I hear hereby proclaim it. I sure am glad I got this whole kitty business straightened out. Now, things can finally get back to normal around here. What? What? Oh my goodness, not again! What is this? Is it another Basset Hound? It says to Charlie, yes. And his name is Walter. So now Charlie has another friend. He's got the kitty, he's got the little dog here, and now he's got a, another Basset Hound. Oh boy, he's gonna have all kinds of friends. Friends, someone else to get used to. That's okay, it's good to have friends. Friends make the world a better place. All right, guys, thank you all so much for singing with me and for reading a good book before Christmas this week. I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas this, this week, a good Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Now let's say goodbye to everybody by singing, We Wish You a Merry Christmas. Here we go. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Happy Holidays to you, your family, your friends. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, everyone.